हेलो एवरीवन मैनी स्टूडेंट्स आर फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम इन हाउ टू यूज स्टीम टेबल और हाउ टू इंटरप्रेट डेटा फ्रॉम स्टीम टेबल सो हियर आई एम विद द वीडियो हाउ टू यूज स्टीम टेबल बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द स्टीम टेबल लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजी एसोसिएटेड विद इट इन दैट फर्स्ट इज सेचुरेशन टेम्परेचर सेकेंड इज सेचुरेशन प्रेशर थर्ड इज ए एफ दैट इज प्रॉपर्टी ए एट सेचुरेटेड लिक्विड स्टेट ए जी that is property a at saturated vapor state and afg that is the change in property a while changing phase from saturated liquid to saturated vapor and one more is dryness fraction now let us understand it individually let us begin with the saturation temperature saturation temperature is the temperature for a corresponding pressure at which liquid boils into vapor phase here is the tv diagram and this line is the constant pressure line and that is at one atmospheric pressure that green dot is the saturated liquid state and that red dot is saturated vapor state so on that horizontal line the phase change process is taking place the temperature at saturated liquid state is the saturation temperature and specifically for water 100 degree celsius is the saturation temperature for one atmospheric pressure Now let us understand what is saturation pressure. Saturation pressure is the pressure at which a given liquid and its vapor can coexist in equilibrium at a given temperature. Here you can see the PV diagram and all these lines are the constant temperature lines. And that green dot and red dot are saturated liquid and saturated vapor respectively. The pressure on that horizontal line is called as saturation pressure. where liquid and vapor can coexist together in equilibrium and if i say for water one atmospheric pressure is the saturation pressure at 100 degree celsius again let us see one diagram where property a is on x axis there are two states mentioned saturated liquid and saturated vapor from the convention f is denoted for saturated liquid and g is denoted for saturated vapor and here you can see af af is the property a at the state of saturated liquid and here is ag ag is the property a at the state of saturated vapor and afg is the change in property a while changing phase from saturated liquid to saturated vapor now let us understand what is dryness fraction dryness fraction is defined as the ratio of mass of vapor in the mixture to the total mass of the mixture mathematically it can be written as mass of vapor divided by mass of liquid plus mass of vapor here you can see on tv diagram that f is indicated for saturated liquid and g is indicated for saturated vapor at the state of saturated liquid mass of vapor will be equal to 0 that is why dryness fraction x will be equal to 0 and if you look at the state of saturated vapor the mass of liquid will be zero so dryness fraction will become 1 now if you consider any arbitrary point between f and g the dryness fraction will vary between 0 and 1 now consider a liquid vapor system where total mass of the system is equal to mass of liquid plus mass of vapor and dryness fraction can be written as mg divided by m and 1 minus x can be written as mf divided by m total volume of the system is equal to volume occupied by the liquid plus volume occupied by the vapor and specific volume will be equal to vf divided by m plus vg divided by m so this can be written as mf vf divided by m plus mg vg divided by m again we can rewrite that as 1 minus x of vf plus x into vg so specific volume v can be written as vf plus x into vg minus vf again we can rewrite that equation as v is equal to vf plus x into vfg because vfg is equal to vg minus vf and this equation will be very very useful now consider a liquid vapor system in that system 30 percentage of that system is in vapor form and 70% in liquid form let us understand that on tv diagram this point is f where volume is 
Vf and this is point G where volume is Vg. And the difference is Vg minus Vf that can be written as Vfg. Now for the specific case of this example, here is point H where dryness fraction is equal to 0 0.3 because dryness fraction is mass of vapor divided by total mass. So that will be 0 0.3 and at that state specific volume will be equal to V and definitely this V will be more than Vf and less than Vg. We can write equation like so V can be written as Vf plus 30 percentage of change in volume while changing phase from liquid to vapor state. So that can be written as V is equal to Vf plus 30 percentage of Vg minus Vf. So V is equal to Vf plus 0 0.3 of Vg minus Vf. So V is equal to Vf plus 0 0.3 into Vf. From the steam table we can evaluate the thermodynamic properties like specific volume, internal energy, enthalpy and entropy. Steam table can be of two type and that first is saturated steam table and second is superheated steam table. And again in saturated steam table one is temperature based steam table and second is pressure based steam table. Now let us see individually how to interpret data from all this steam table. Let us begin with the temperature based steam table. So temperature based steam table will look like this. On the first column you will see the temperature in degree celsius and next to it you will see the pressure. That pressure is the saturation pressure corresponding to the given temperature. And next to that you will see the specific volume, internal energy and enthalpy. And in again every property you will see two columns in that Vf, Vg, Uf, Ug and Hf, Hg. Vf stands for the value of given property at saturated liquid state and Vg stands for saturated vapor. In this type of steam table you have to begin with the row at a given temperature. Let us understand that by an example. What is specific volume of saturated vapor at 40 degrees Celsius? So here temperature is given that is 40 degrees Celsius and we are supposed to find this specific volume. But of what state? Saturated liquid or saturated vapor? Yes, it is given of saturated vapor. Now just look at the column which indicates saturated vapor in specific volume. So here is the answer. So answer is equal to 19.515 meter cube per kg. Let us jump on to one more example. What is the enthalpy of saturated liquid at 120 degrees Celsius? Yes, temperature is given that is 120 degrees Celsius. And we are supposed to find enthalpy at saturated liquid state. So the answer is 503.81 kilojoule per kg. And here is one more example. The rigid tank contains 10 kg of water at 60 degrees Celsius if 7 kg of water is in liquid form and remaining in vapor form. Determine the volume of tank. Here mass of system is given that is 10 kg and in that mass of liquid is 7 kg. So definitely mass of vapor will be 3 kg. So by the equation of dryness fraction, the dryness fraction will be equal to 0 0.3. And we know the equation of specific volume. V is equal to Vf plus x into Vfg. So we don't have the value of Vf and Vfg. So what will be Vf? For that you look at the temperature. Temperature is 60 degree which is given. We are supposed to find the specific volume at saturated liquid state. So the answer is 0 0.0010171 meter cube per kg. Next we are supposed to find Vg. So again on the same temperature look at the specific volume at saturated vapor state. So answer is 7.6672 meter cube per kg. Vfg is equal to Vg minus Vf and that will give you the answer 7.6661829 meter cube per kg. And if you put all this value you will get the specific volume of the system is equal to 2.300871 meter cube per kg. That means the volume of tank will be equal to 
एट सेवन वन मीटर क्यूब पर के जी नाउ लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड अ प्रेशर बेस्ड टीम टेबल इन अ प्रेशर बेस्ड टीम टेबल ऑन फर्स्ट कॉलम प्रेशर विल बी गिवन एंड इन नेक्स्ट कॉलम टेम्परेचर विल बी गिवन एंड दैट टेम्परेचर इज द सेचुरेशन टेम्परेचर करस्पॉन्डिंग टू दी गिवन प्रेशर अगेन नेक्स्ट टू दैट यू विल सी स्पेसिफिक वॉल्यूम इंटरनल एनर्जी एंथैल्फी एंड अगेन इन ऑल दिस प्रॉपर्टी यू विल सी टू कॉलम्स लाइक वी एफ वी जी यू एफ यू जी एंड एच एफ एच जी टू अंडरस्टैंड इट प्रॉपरली लेट एस टेक एन एग्जाम्पल वॉट इज द इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ सेचुरेटेड लिक्विड एट एटी बार प्रेशर एंड वॉट इज द सेचुरेशन टेम्परेचर नाउ हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस एग्जाम्पल जस्ट लुक एट दी रो वेर प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू एटी बार एंड वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड इंटरनल एनर्जी एट सेचुरेटेड लिक्विड स्टेट सो ऑन इंटरनल एनर्जी फाइंड यू एफ सो द आंसर इज वन थ्री जीरो सिक्स पॉइंट टू किलो जूल पर के जी एंड सेचुरेशन टेम्परेचर एट एटी बार प्रेशर इज टू नाइन्टी फाइव पॉइंट जीरो वन डिग्री सेल्सियस नाउ लेट एस सी हाउ टू इंटरप्रेट डेटास superheated steam table will be like this you can see this table is only for 0.01 megapascal and beside that you can see 45.81 degree celsius that temperature is the saturation temperature and on first column you will see the temperature in second column at specific volume third column is for internal energy fourth for the enthalpy and fifth for the entropy Again, you can see the same table, but at the pressure is equal to zero point one megapascal, and at that state, saturation temperature is ninety nine point sixty one degrees Celsius. You will be amazed why these four cells are empty in zero point one megapascal. So the answer is the saturation temperature at zero point one megapascal is ninety nine point sixty one degrees Celsius, and in that row, temperature is fifty degrees Celsius. that means that temperature is lesser than the saturation temperature so so superheated steam table cannot give you the value below the saturation temperature here again you can see the same table but at different pressure and that is 1 megapascal and again here you can see for 1.4 megapascal now let us understand how to use superheated steam table using an example determine the specific enthalpy of water at state of pressure is equal to 0.01 megapascal and temperature 400 degree celsius to start the problem just pick up the table where pressure is equal to 0.01 megapascal and here is your table and temperature is also given that is 400 degree celsius so focus on the row where temperature is 400 degree celsius and we are supposed to find specific enthalpy so the answer is 3280 kJ per kg let us see one more example determine the temperature of water at the state of pressure is equal to 0.01 megapascal and specific volume is 30 m3 per kg okay let us pick up the table where pressure is equal to 0.01 megapascal and in that table look for the specific volume 30 meter cube per kg 30 meter cube per kg is not mentioned but yes we can say the temperature will be in between 300 and 400 degrees celsius but how much is the question so the answer is in interpolation let us see how to do it in this table temperature is on left side and specific volume is on right side now let us draw a diagram where specific volume is on y axis and temperature on x axis and as per the table At three hundred degrees Celsius, the specific volume is twenty six point four four six, and at four hundred degrees Celsius temperature, specific volume is thirty one point zero six three. And this is how we can connect the line. And let us mark point A. X and Y coordinates of point A is three hundred comma twenty six point four four six. For point B, it is four hundred comma thirty one point zero six three. But our concern is. The specific volume is equal to thirty meter cube per kg. So let us mark the C point, and x coordinate of this C point will give you the temperature which we want. So the coordinates of C points are x comma thirty. For a straight line connecting three points, mathematically we can write as x minus three hundred divided by four hundred minus three hundred is equal to thirty minus twenty six point four four six. 
26.446 divided by 31.063 minus 26.446. From that you can find x is equal to 377 degrees Celsius. So we can say at 0.01 megapascal pressure and specific volume 30 meter cube per kg, the corresponding temperature will be equal to 377 degrees Celsius. If you have liked this video, please hit on like button and share this video and if you have any query, just comment it. Thank you.